The journey to a career in healthcare can start for a number of reasons. Sometimes it's family ties. Back in 19. 89, my mother was a nurse at St. Joe's and they had started a respiratory school there. I didn't even know what respiratory therapy was. And she said, you should, you should apply to this and go there. So I applied and got accepted and became a respiratory therapist 33 years ago. An unexpected career change? My, my factory closed, right? It put a thousand people out and my sister was a registered nurse. And uh, my dad had just passed away and I wanted to stay close to my mom. And she said, well, there's a program right down here at Mansfield. So maybe you should check it out. So I, I, I did that. A life altering experience with a loved one. I got into it after I had a son who had some respiratory issues. So it started to really interest me. Or the desire to be challenged every day. It's not the same types of patients every time. So they're you have to have that skill set to be able to handle it, and I feel like Arnett has instilled that in me now. No matter the case, the end goal is always the same, seeing a patient inhale and exhale. For respiratory therapy, our, our patient population is uh, people who, who have difficulty breathing. So um, from a little three-month-old with asthma to an uh, elderly patient who has lung disease and winds up on a ventilator, and then anything in between. But taking on so many cases can be overwhelming. If you get in kind of over your head a little bit, there's always somebody there and they're willing to be there for you. And when they're not confident in a procedure, Arnott's RTs say they can always turn to their supervisor. She can do any procedure on the floor that there is. Any, any, no matter how technical. But even when she steps in, Bobby Joe doesn't do the job alone. The teamwork approach is just something that you have to have. So we all work very independently, which is important. But to really give the best care to a patient, you need everyone involved. Part of that teamwork is talking with every part of the hospital. You have to be able to communicate on a lot of different levels. Like you have to be able to communicate with the nurses or the physicians or the families and especially the patients, you know, and I love that. Respiratory therapists are there when patients take their first breath and their last. You see a lot of things, a lot of sad things, but you see a lot of happy things too. So you, you just don't take things for granted because in one day your whole life could change forever. Healthcare workers are human. In order for them to be happy and healthy and perform at their best here while they're at work, they need that time to um, take a break from work and concentrate on things at home and enjoy, you know, vacations or time with their family. And seeing loss can take a toll on mental health. I mean, I've never not had a day off that I needed to get my day off. The team works to cover each other's shifts and the staff who make up that team pride themselves on consistency. We have the fewest travelers of any department and we have one of the biggest departments. And I think it's, it starts, it's the vibe they get from who they see first and that's Bobby Joe. And um, you know, they get a good feeling and anybody who works per diem here, starts per diem here, usually stays here. And there's a reason for that, right? For Arnett Health, I'm Lexi Cutmore.